Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is 19564 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. And uh, I've got the changes I wanted to show you in this video. When you've, um, first off, when you get this build, you'll find that there's another up update comes afterwards, which I haven't checked for yet. So uh, let me check that now. And so they're going to check for updates. This is a servicing patch that's coming down for this build. It's nothing include doesn't include any new features. It's just Microsoft testing the the way that they service updates to Windows 10. So you'll get that patch come down, and I'll leave that checking. So what's new in this build? Well, there is a change to the uh, graphics settings. So let's have a look at that. So here you see the graphics options. So you can decide on each app by app basis what whether it gets windows decides uh, for itself or whether you want power saving or high performance so if you've got maybe uh, intensive video application game or something you can preset that to to get the higher performance if there's something that you don't want uh, taking all your cpu up you could give it a power saving option so it's a bit um it's a bit extra control over the graphics options also in this is where you can search as well uh, in there also mentioned in the release notes for this build is an improved calendar um, that's got new themes, improved month view, uh, simplified ed event creation and a redesigned account navigation screen. So I've gone back to this, uh, to the Windows update screen. You see here it's downloading that um, patch uh, for testing purposes. So it's not going to include any features, but it's just a patch that will increment the build. So here's the calendar. I'm going to switch on the um, option for the the new view. So here you can see the new uh, the look, look and feel of the, the calendar. You just switch that off and you switch that option on and you can switch it off up there as well. The rest of the changes to this build are all fairly minor as they have been recently. They fixed some issues with uh, Asian IME, so, uh, Chinese language issues. They've updated some of the Japanese uh, language issues as well. They fixed an issue with the clipboard, and they fixed an issue with uh, clipboard history, Control-V. They fixed an issue when uh, Windows would crash in the ink, ink workspace. They fixed an issue with the, uh, the wheel UI, which is the UI you use when you see the surface uh, dial um, that would crash. They fixed an issue with the login screen, and uh, they fixed the... WSL, which is the Windows subsystem for Linux, which wouldn't start before, and now that's working as well. And they've installed, they've fixed some install install issues as well. And they've also fixed the Windows setup UI. Um, if you had things like uh, low disk space, it would cut, you would get errors. There's actually quite a lot of fixes in this build, and I'll include a full link on the digitallifestyle.com. Uh, they fix some file explorer links as well, and wallpaper transitions. There's still some known issues. The Battlelight anti-cheat software and the narrator issues are still there. Um, they still mentioned the update process for um, hanging um, with over extended periods when you're installing the build. I haven't seen that. And a few, uh, they've still got issues with uh, an error message on the installation. But again, I haven't seen that and a couple of language issues. Cloud recovery isn't working in this build again. So it, the, it wasn't working in the previous build, they fixed it and now it's not working again. So uh, obviously working on the back end uh, stuff to do with that. So those are all the changes with this build. Not a huge amount of changes, but interesting and useful around those graphics options. If you fancy looking at something slightly different, look at our latest video of Windows 10X, which is the new version of Windows that's coming in. And I've got the very first look at that on our YouTube channel. You can get in touch with me, Ian, at thegistlifestyle.com. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.